back on trail today is saturday march the 25th day eight of my washita trail through hike 2023 the wife just dropped me back off at highway 27 trailhead we had breakfast at uh, the bluebell this morning had a great uh, pretty much zero day yesterday had uh, breakfast and lunch at the bluebell wife showed up we drove to mount ida I was able to do some laundry checked in the royal oak motel which actually was better than i expected we took a 30 minute drive down to uh, glenwood tore up a buffet at the fish nest which was fire ended up being perfect timing for a for a zero as it uh rained all day yesterday severe weather heavy heavy rain but Lori said that uh, they got about three and a half inches here in story so the creeks are definitely up but i should be able to get across all of them just fine only one i'm really worried about is fiddler's creek and i'll be crossing it tomorrow so this is part two of three highway 27 to queen wilhelmina state park lodge 70 miles about five days My plan today is just to get 15 or 16 in today. I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way to Fiddler's Creek. That'd be another 20 mile day. But I uh, haven't really been sleeping very well in the shelters. And the weather is absolutely perfect today. So I'm gonna try to throw the tent up, catch up on some sleep. How about this weather, y'all? supposed to be like this all the way to Wilhelmina highs in the uh, upper 60s lows in the low to mid 40s and little to no humidity absolutely gorgeous got about a seven mile ridge walk here finally gonna top out on top of suck mountain check out these views Loving the trail today. Very, very well maintained. So I just commented on how well maintained the trail has uh, been through this section. And uh, I was noticing the blazes and how whoever adopts this section really takes pride in it because there's some fresh blazes on these trees they're beautiful and uh, I actually just ran into the couple that uh, that adopted this model of the trail or this section of the trail so awesome man thank you guys so much I mean this, the trail is it's a lot less rocky through here than I remember but it's absolutely he had a chainsaw with him clearing stuff away just phenomenal job guys 
and good chatting with you. They, uh, or he had mentioned that the, he, he's watched a lot of my videos, so that's pretty cool. Took a late lunch at Suck Mountain Shelter. It is about three o'clock now. I think I'm just gonna head about three more miles to the campsite down Harris Creek. I remember being pretty decent. So three more miles and we'll call it a day. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. Where are you going? Uh, I started the Pinnacle on the uh, on the 18th, I'm heading to Oklahoma. Oh, you're going that yeah, way? I'm yeah. going west. Yeah, I, I planned to go east, and then they burned. Where are you guys headed to tonight? Suck Mountain? Uh, yeah. What's it like up there? You'll have it by yourself. It's a beautiful shelter. Okay. Yeah. It's All cool. by yourself? I'm by myself, man. Cool. Yeah. My kids are a little older now, so it had to be my first through hike. You know what I mean? I'm from Lawrence, Kansas. He's from uh, Dallas area. Nice. So. I'm sorry we beat y'all the other night. <laughs> oh, sorry about oh, that. No. I, I, I watched that game night one on Lake Maumelle. Oh. I, I live just south of Little Rock, so oh, this, cool. is, this is my, yeah, play, this is my playground. Yeah, we've met here a couple different times, and eventually we will we'll do the whole thing. Yeah, so. yeah, knock off a little chunk at a time. It's a yeah. beautiful trail, man. Arkansas is special. Yep. You have guys a have a great hike, all right? That's a wrap for day eight on the Washita Trail. Made it uh, 16 miles today to a pretty nice campsite. Some nice water right over there. About to scarf down some uh, packet gourmet Texas State Fair chili. I'll see you guys in the morning. Leaving camp on day nine. Slept for 11 hours straight last night. Plan today is uh, we're gonna climb up and over down to Fiddler's Creek, which hopefully is uh, dropped down quite a bit. I bet it's still over the low water bridge, but hopefully it's below knee deep. Then we'll be climbing up on Blowout Mountain and over to uh, Big Brushy Creek. And I think I'm just gonna go 15.2 today to Big or Brushy Creek Mountain Shelter. It is gonna be another perfect day on the Washita Trail. I got ran off the trail by a mountain biker. I forgot that this weekend is the uh, Washita Challenge race, which is a 100 mile uh, mountain biking race. I think it uses part of the Womble Trail, part of the Washita Trail, and some other trails for service roads.
I'm gonna have a hell of a time making miles today. It's a good thing I only have 15.2 planned, but uh, I probably passed about 25 of them. Uh, one guy said there's almost 200 of them, so they use 20 miles of the Washtenaw Trail for this for this uh, bike race. It'll be all right. I'm enjoying watching them struggle coming up this hill right now. It's quite quite entertaining. Down, down the hill. Better than up the hill. Yeah, a lot better. <laughs> Alright, I think I've made it through the Washita Challenge riders. Uh, last guy I just saw had a sign written across the front of his bike. It said sweep. And he was like, hi, I'm sweep. And I'm probably the last guy. <laughs> I guess they call him sweep because he's in last place. Sweeping up everybody's dust. I don't know. Pushing on the Big Brushy Creek. I walked right by mile 100, but we're in the double digits now. Starting to count them down. 99 miles to go. Crossing Filler Creek here at Highway 270. You take Highway 270 about two hours east of here, you run right into the heart of my hometown, Sheridan, Arkansas. Leaving Big Brushy Creek, walked into the picnic day use area and uh, dumped some trash, grabbed some water. I'm carrying three liters up to Brushy Mountain Shelter. It's the most water I've had on my back this trip. I've been getting by with just carrying a liter during the day and carrying two liters up to camp. But if you're headed westbound like I am, Big Brushy Creek is the last reliable water source until uh, Cedar Creek on the other side of Foreign Gap. So about a 25 mile stretch here. Now, we've had two feet of rain since January 1. So I can almost guarantee there will be at least two small slow seeps across the trail that I remember four years ago. And I know from uh, some eastbounders, there is water at Turner Gap Shelter. And according to them, there is also some uh, water caches from Trail Angels at a couple of four service roads. So should be okay, just carrying another liter up in case I have to make it uh, 10 miles to Turner Gap Shelter tomorrow before I can fill up. All right, let's get up this mountain.
That moment when you realize you shouldn't have hauled three liters four miles up a mountain. This is flowing about 0 0.2 from Brushy Mountain Shelter. <laughs> Glowing water right beside the shelter. Gotta love it. Nice. It is Sunday. Unless an eastbound through hiker shows up, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have it to myself. Spring break is over.